Go. I need you out of the kitchen or Jaden Sprint can't come over. I need to hurry up. Come on. Please hurry up. Go. I need you out of the kitchen. Hey, what's going on you guys? I'm Veggie Rolls. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button. It looks like this and the little notification bell next to it so that you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and sweet Saturday whenever we have a sweet vegan dessert, some sort of sweet treat. You don't want to miss it, so don't forget to subscribe. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a sort of chickenless stew. So it's like inspired by a Puerto Rican chicken stew, which is called pollo guisao, but it's literally just chicken stew, but infused with like Puerto Rican flavors and Hispanic flavors and whatnot. So I'm going to be showing you guys my version of that in vegan style. So let's get ready. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting off with about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And I'm just using um, this pot, uh, which in Spanish we just call this guy uh, caldero. So I'm using this big pot. And I'm going to be tossing in uh, one chopped green bell pepper. And you could use... Uh, red bell pepper, orange bell pepper, any color red be uh, bell pepper, bell, <laughs> why can't I say that? Any color bell pepper you would like, um, but I'm just using green because that's what I have on hand, and I'm also adding in one whole uh, yellow onion, I was going to say orange, I don't know where my, my thoughts are right now, so I'm just tossing that in there. So again, one chopped bell pepper and one chopped yellow onion. You can use any onion you would prefer. And I'm just going to do a little sprinkling of salt and pepper at this point. About half a teaspoon. And then a nice cracking of black pepper. And I know what you're thinking. Rose, we can't see. Well, you're about to see. I'm also adding in six carrots chopped up. And you can chop these carrots however you prefer. You can peel them, but you don't have to. These carrots give this dish so much flavor. Next, we're adding in four chopped uh, medium potatoes. And the potatoes I kind of just cut like at different sizes. Some a little smaller, some a little bigger. They don't have to be like chopped up perfectly because we're going to toss in some quinoa in here. And that takes a little while to cook, so um, everything will be cooked. And then I'm also going to be pouring in some vegetable broth. And we're doing six cups of vegetable broth. You're also going to need one loosely packed cup of cilantro. I have one packet of sasson, two teaspoons of adobo. I will have the link down below for the full recipe. Two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of oregano, and I also add one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. I'm also going to be doing one and a half teaspoons of salt. We're also doing half a cup of quinoa and half of a cup of lentils. All right, and we're going to go ahead and mix this all up. We're going to go ahead, cover this beautiful dish, cook at a medium heat until everything is nice and tender. The potatoes, the lentils, and the carrots are nice and tender. All right, guys, so I finished this up, and this has been cooking on actually a low heat. And I didn't cover it up simply because my pot is too small for the amount of food that's in here. But if you have a much bigger, like a taller pot, you can definitely cover it up. Um, but uh, you don't have to necessarily cover it up. So yeah, this is pretty much done. Everything is nice and tender and ready to go. All right, guys, so you know what time it is. It's time for the taste test cam. I was in the middle of taking off my makeup. I was ready to take it off when I realized, oh my God, I forgot to do a taste test cam. 
And I know every time I forget to do the taste test cam, a couple of you guys are like, what happened to the taste test cam? So here's the taste test cam. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Oh yeah. The carrot gives it so much flavor. Like the carrot is like one of my favorite things in this dish. I absolutely love, love, love this whole dish. It tastes awesome. With some rice on the side, we have it with some white rice or yellow rice or whatever, or by itself. Absolutely delicious. You gotta try it. Try it out. Let me know what you think. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes. I would love to see what you think. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.